Okay, are we ready? Thumbs up? Yes. Okay. So down here, this is where I'm going to put my steam ray. So I'm going to draw a real light circle for the body. Draw a real light circle. You can't even see mine, can you? Ah, you're like, wait a minute, Miss Emily. Where is that circle? There it is. You got it. Okay, once you have your circle, touch the top of your circle right in the middle. Right in the middle at the top. So once you do that, you watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. That's, that's where the nose is going to go. Okay, just a little tiny bit. Once you get that, let's put some eyeballs on this guy. Let's decide right, let's, let's decide. I think right about here, I'm gonna put a contour line right there just to mark. That's just where I wanna put my eyeballs, I think. I think that's a good spot. So with that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just, with my hand, I'm making that oval motion, decide where I want it, and then I'm gonna commit to it and draw my oval right there. That looks good. That looks real good. I love that. Now objects closer are going to be larger. Okay. Objects smaller, I mean further away are going to be smaller. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have two pencils that are the exact same, right? Are they same? They're kind of different blues, but that's okay. Now, does one look larger than the other? Yes. Why? Because it is closer to you. You can always do this by yourself. You can take your hands, put them up, and then you can move one further away than the other and go, whoa, this one looks really big and this one's so small. That's because it is closer to you. Okay, good. Okay, so for our eyes, this one right here is closer to us, so it's going to be larger. I'm going to go ahead and erase this area right here where I want to put the other eye. It's easier to erase and then put it back, okay? So I erase that. Now I'm gonna draw an eye, but it's just gonna be a little smaller. And why is that? Let me hear it, because it's further away. Good job, good job. Okay, so once we have that, you can clean up underneath it. Put, your, put the back of the, the nose there. There we go. When you draw eyes, you want to have reflective dots so that they know there's a light source somewhere. So I'm putting both of them on the right side and then I'm going to color in, darken that in, and the, the furthest one away is a little smaller. There we go. Yes! So far so good. So far so good. Now um, the bottom of our stingray Touch the bottom of your circle right in the middle, and then we're going to pull it out and curve that end. See how I curved it to touch it? Yours might be a little longer, maybe a little shorter. That is okay. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I'm going to clean up inside of my, my stingray's face. There we go. Now let's put his nose on. So nose needs to be right about here. I'm just going to put two little oval, and I'm going to color them in. I don't want to make it too dark. I don't want to make it too dark. For his eyes, I want to give it a little, little wrinkle under the eyes, so I'm just going to darken that in and pull it out. You guys able to see that? That's so teeny tiny. Let me zoom in even more so you can see. There we go. Is that better? Ta-da! I can always move my camera. There we go. So we have that. Now let's give him a smile. Start at the, the tip of your mouth, and I'm going to just give a darker line, and right under the eyes, I'm going to pull his smile up. We have to have a smiling stingray, right? I know their mouth is underneath, but it's okay. It's my cartoon picture, right? If you're the artist, you kind of can, can have that freedom to change it a little. So from here, Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull a triangle, make a big triangle. I'm trying to do it the same size as my circle, but I have a triangle right in this direction. 
all about shapes. If you can draw shapes, you can draw anything, right? Except Disney characters. Wow, those are kind of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if they make me angry because they don't follow all the art rules. Ah, uh, you guys don't get angry, do you? No, you would not get angry. You wouldn't get angry. So from here, uh, let's see here. I'm going to draw another triangle further away. What does that mean? It's going to be smaller, okay? So come behind this one and draw a triangle, but smaller. There, you have two triangles, a circle, and a weird looking face. Is it weird looking? I hope so. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take underneath the mouth and watch. We're going to pull out the stingrays uh, wings. So come down, come past the end of it. Okay, go past the end, and I'm gonna pull it back in and round it, that out. So I'm not gonna follow that straight line. See how that worked? Now you have the sting rays wing. That's hard to say. You can't say that fast. Sting rays wing. Blah, blah, blah. Tongue twister. Now let's do that on the other side. So we have it right here at the head. You want to pull it out, go past, go past the end. Can you guys see that? So from here, I'm gonna pull it back in. Ta-da, just like that, boom. You're making a stingray. This is awesome. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to come in and clean up my underdrawing. So, okay, so from the body, remember we had a circle here? Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna touch this little uh, stingray flap fin and I'm gonna curve and touch the other one. Just use that contour line. And I dipped down, okay? Dip down and touch the other one. Let's come up here. I don't even know what time it is. I'm having so much fun with you guys. Um, do the same thing, but you're gonna go up. So go up and back down. So now we have the body. When we're all finished, we'll shade everything in and we'll make it look really cool. So, Look at the middle of your body back here, okay? Touch the middle. Everybody got it? Touch the middle. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, and this is gonna be the middle of the tail. Let me zoom out, sorry, you totally didn't see that one. I just went zoom and I wiggled that line up. You see where we're going with this? Looking good, looking good. So now that we have that, we're gonna take the bottom of the body where we stopped right here. We're going to get closer and closer and closer till we touch up, up higher up. Okay, this is that barb they have in, the, in their tail. So everything is good there. So let's do the same thing to the top, but we're gonna go down with our line and try to meet up right at the end there. Okay, so for your tail, start at the very tip of your tail and you can thicken it by just going over it and I'm just going a little away from just touching it. So I made it a little thicker and I just let my hands do the drawing, okay? I just went with it. So now I wanna add a little texture. I'm going to add texture by giving him some really light, um, shapes on his back. Let's just do a couple of little ovals all over his back. Oh, I'm totally going off camera. Let me see if I can move my camera. There we go. I'm just coming down here and drawing. So I'm just going to add some ovals all over my body of my stingray. And then I'm going to shade just with one value right now, because then we're going to add some shading on him. Add one value, I'm gonna shade my stingray's um, wings because this one that I was copying out of a, a book I have, it has really dark gray wings and the body is just a light gray. So I'm just gonna take my pencil on its side and I'm gonna try to shade. I'm gonna shade it, 
fill it in just the just those nice little wings that he has fill that in all right this is so good okay once you have all that shaded we're going to um, add the shading from our light source okay so I shade a little under the eyes just to give the depth illusion of depth I'm gonna go down the front of his nose just a little bit kind of give, giving it some shape when I do okay so it looks like it's more pointed and then there's the depth there so anywhere there's overlapping so where the mouth is I'm gonna shade a little and then I'm gonna shade down below, give it a little bit. And since this is already colored, look at what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna darken it with my pencil by pushing just a little harder with my pencil. Can you guys see the difference now? Since I'm layering it, I'm adding some depth. So I'm just gonna do that to the back part of this wing over here and where it's overlapped on the body right here that's cool yeah what else did I do to this guy now if you have a stomp you can grab it if you don't it's okay keep shading really well with your pencil if you have a q-tip you can use that do you see how my stomp is blending in all my pencil markings and doing really good and getting my stomp really really loaded with graph let's keep blending this stingray's wing at the bottom so I'm blending it and creating that um, illusion of depth because there's different levels of, of density okay it's density so I'm going to take what I have on my stomp and I'm just going to blend I gotta make sure I'm not covering up my pencil I mean my artwork I am I am messing up this artwork so I'm gonna get another piece of paper and cover it so my hand doesn't get all over it. Do you guys ever do that? When you're drawing and your hand messes, gets all up in your other artwork and you mess it up, I just take a scrap piece of paper, clean on, clean on the side that's gonna to touch my art, and then I just come to the other, um, other art and just work on it while my other one's covered. So that helps. So that way I don't get it all messy and ruin my artwork. So when you have an underwater scene, you still need a horizon line, okay? Can you say horizon line? A horizon line helps you, uh, your eyes understand the reference of where everything is on the page. So the, the sand is going to be a little wavy I'm going to do a real light line only because I want to add other creatures and I want to be able to erase. So my little sea, ur uh, my sea urchin is going to go here. My stingray, look at his eyes. Where are his eyes going? You need to put a nice circle right there. And the sea urchin isn't that big. Okay, so just make him the size of maybe a dime. Does anybody know what a dime is? You are all busy working. Okay, I love it. I love it. So this little sea urgent, he is going to have two big oval eyes kind of looking at the stingray like, please do not eat me. Okay, I don't know if they eat sea urchins, but hey, if it's in the ocean, it's edible, right? So in the eyes, let's put circles and then reflective dots and then color in the eye. You guys are gonna be pros at these eyes by the end of the month, you're gonna be a pro. So we're gonna do that. Let's give him a big sad frown. Oh, he's sad. He thinks he's gonna be eaten by the stingray. Okay, for the sea urchin, uh, what do we need to do? We need to outline him. Okay, when we outline him, this is just really fun because there's just no rhyme or reason, okay? So at the bottom, put a contour line because that's where the sand is. So you've got a little contour line. Now the circle that you drew, I'm just gonna go and do nice curves to give this little sea urchin some texture. See how I did that? Real easy, real, no, no, no real problems there, just real easy. Okay, now let's work on the sand. 
The sand, I'm going to give a nice curve right in the middle over that nice light contour line. And then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on that, on that bump that we just did, and I'm going to pull another bump out. We're just giving him a little bit of ground to be on because he's in the sand, right? He's in the sand. So I just gave him four little bumps. I might give him one right behind him, right there. Make him look like he's in the sand. Watch this. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to go straight up and down and I'm going to give him spikes. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to think about it, give him short little ones, long ones, um, some on his body, some on the edge. See how I'm just giving the sea urchin, sea urchin spikes? But I'm thinking about it before I just throw them on there, okay? Don't just don't just go and, and go crazy on them. Go toward the right, go toward the left, um, go down, go up. Give them all kinds of direction. And do some lighter, some darker. There we go. That sea urchin's like, don't eat me. Please don't eat me. I don't want to be your lunch. So once you do that, all you need to do is shade him. So go down the left side of his body and shade him. That's it, that's a sea urchin. I'm gonna take my stomp and I'm just gonna blend just a little bit on that one side. And then in the sand, I'm just gonna blend the sand, make it look a little rough down there. You have a sea urchin, yay, that one's cool. That one's really cool. I like it. So let's get started on our uh, jellyfish. Real quick, we'll just add some jellyfish. I'm going to add two dots. And, and really, they're just one finger part width apart, okay? So put a dot on the right, put a dot on the left. That's the right, that's the left. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to do a nice contour line touching one dot to the other. Remember, don't go wild on me. Don't make don't make your your two dots and then go whoa because then it's not going to work. Okay, make it a little contour line. Don't go too big. Now curve the end of of these where your dots are. Make it curve, and then do another contour line to connect them. There you go. That's the bottom of the jellyfish. Now connect one dot to the other dot with a big, I'm gonna do waves. I'm gonna do wavy uh, a curve, okay? Do a wavy curve. Why? Because jellyfish change shape, okay? I don't want it to look perfect. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna darken in my contour lines right here with waves. You see how I did that? That way it, it has more shape. Okay, now jellyfish have nice little weird tentacle things coming down. So think about which way the water is moving, okay? And give him a few long ones, some, some curly Q ones. Just don't go too obnoxious on it. Don't go too many. And then for the shading, I'm going to shade right in the middle at that top line, and I'm going to just make a circle with it. And come down. Okay, so shading, I'm just going to shade these little corners down here. And then the left side, if you want to add texture, you can put a few little circles all over um, the top of that. And then grab your stomp or your q tip, or even, I bet most of you have figured out you can use your pinky. Okay, you can use your pinky. It makes a little bit more of a mess, but it gets the job done, right? I'm going to use my stomp and pull down a few more of these long um, poisonous things that come down. You see how I did that? And then since I have my stomp covered in graphite, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to, I'm going to do a circle with a bump right here. See how I did that? And then I'm going to put some of those long tentacles coming down. And it looks like it's further away. Oh, it's all about positioning. I love it. 
Now, mine is, my stomp is running out. What do I need to do? I can come down here where I've already drawn dark area and I can blend some more and load it and then come up here and notice it gives me more. Okay, and if you don't have something you've already done, you can get out a scrap piece of paper and just shade it and then load your stomp that way. Okay, and there's always a way to load your stomp and give you more. So now my stomp is really loaded. So I think I need to put another little jellyfish maybe further in the corner and I'll just do a smaller one. Okay, just like that. Just real quick, just add an extra one. Put something else in there. Okay, let's do at least two more jellyfish. My, my favorite thing is odd numbers for things in the background. Okay, odd numbers um, are, are really um, good for the brain. I think that's why I had three kids. Odd number. Okay, so we're going to do our two dots. This one, I want him to go straight up in the water. This one I had turned to the side. This one I want straight up. So I'm going to do my curved line, my contour line, going from dot to dot. Okay, then you can join your dots with your wobbly, wavy lines. Oh, mine looks really weird. That's cool. I like that. And then on the contour line, I'm going to go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all the way around. Okay, I'm going to add my tentacles coming down. So this one is straight. So I'm going to not group them all together. Plus, I want some that are longer. So I'm going to do some little ones, some curly wrapped around ones, and some just flowing down. Now I'm going to add the shading inside. Just like that, just, just do around the top line and then come down just a little bit. That gives it that thickness, remember. Good, good, good. You guys are such amazing artists. I'm going to put some texture on here and then shade the left side. And I think this one is good to go. This one's good to swim off in the ocean. Swim, swim, swim. I'm going to pull some down with my stomp. Yes. Now, if you really want to take it a step further, you can put eyes on your um, jellyfish. But I want my attention to be on these, these down here, these little areas down here. So.